In the 2022 NFL season, Donovan Wilson took that next step for the Dallas Cowboys. He was an absolute superstar last season, and today we're going to analyze this guy's tape because Wilson made a lot of really nice plays for the Dallas Cowboys. You can make the argument Wilson is one of the best strong safeties in all of football, and it's plays like this where you see the natural instincts really come out. It's plays like this where he jumps the gap on this one play, and he tackles the running back for a loss of a yard. It's high IQ football if you ask me. Really fired up to get into this film breakdown. Let's just get right into it. Part of what makes Donovan Wilson such a good football player is the physicality that you see on tape. One of the things that Wilson does a lot, and it's very clear when you watch his tape, is he sets the tone, right? Physically, bro. first down, second down, first play of the game, final play of the game. Wilson's very, very physical. And you see plays like this, where he puts his shoulder into a wide receiver. He creates that separation to get off the block, and then he gets in there to help make the play. It's plays like this that really separate Wilson from a lot of other safeties in the NFL. You got another rep here. Wilson's going to take on number 17, the tight end. And once again, watch the physicality, watch the toughness, watch him get his hands into 17, the tight end, and he drives him backwards. Again, that fight right there is top tier because as a safety, you got to set the tone. You got to be able to take on blocks. And you see right here, Wilson is able to do that. Part of why this guy's successful is because of plays like this. Uh, you really want to be able to see those type of things. That being said, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Wilson is one of those type of guys that sets the tone. And here's one of those plays to kind of back that up. You see him here take on AJ Brown. He absolutely crushes him. To me, the physicality by Wilson is top tier. Uh, you see AJ Brown's literally running full speed, gets his shoulder into Wilson, and Wilson takes him on and absolutely puts him down. That's just a top tier play right there. And he, he lets him know about it too. As you see right there, he kind of goes back and lets him know. Again, the physicality by Wilson. Definitely love to see that. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. You got another really nice play here once again. Wilson's going to jump the gap. Once again, he's going to help make the play on the running back. Again, these are the type of plays that make this guy such a good football player. His ability to defend his run fit is top tier. And the thing with Wilson is he's very quick, he's very explosive, he's very fast. So for him to take two to three steps up, he's able to do it very quickly, very fast. And you get plays like this where he's one of the two guys that kind of get in there to make the play. And I don't think there's any question about Wilson's ability to defend the run. I think his biggest question mark will always be defending the pass. And we'll get into some of his pass plays a little bit later on. But I do want to continue to talk a little bit about the run defense aspect of Wilson's game. Because there's so many plays like this on tape where he's able to come around the edge. And when the front side is all defended, it's this safety that's coming off the backside. It's this safety that's coming around the corner to make sure the play gets stopped. And it's plays like this that make Donovan Wilson such an elite football player. It's plays like this where you say this guy is an absolute superstar inside the box. Alrighty guys, check this rep out. You got an inside zone to the left of the formation and watch Donovan Wilson do a fantastic job shooting the gap, getting past the right guard who is responsible for that gap to his left. And again, just a fantastic job once again. Great job getting past the right guard right there and blowing this play up. The recognition to realize that this is a zone to the left. All of the offensive linemen are flowing that way. And for Wilson to be able to get past that guard on one of the backside gaps, I mean, that's top tier stuff right there. It's a beautiful job. Let's get into the next rep. All right, you guys, check this next rep out. This play right here really shows you the football intelligence of Donovan Wilson. Now, you're on the one-yard line, and the Eagles are going to try to run the football. And watch Wilson as he gets in there, and he forces the running back backwards. To me, this is really, really, really good processing. And, and this kind of goes to show the type of football awareness a guy has. You can see he's one of two guys in there. The other guy's going to make contact with the running back, and Wilson is as well. You're going to see Wilson start to pull this guy backwards. Look at that. You see him pull him backwards, as does Demarcus Lawrence right there. And to me, that's really, really smart stuff. You know, nowadays, it's not good enough to, to grab onto someone at the one-yard line because oftentimes you see piles get pushed forward. So by Wilson to recognize on this play that he needs to grab onto the running back and force him backwards, that smart stuff right there shows the processing and intelligence of the safety. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Watch Wilson put his nose where it doesn't belong. He's going to defend the run, play his run fit, gets in there and makes the play on the running back. Again, really, really, really top tier stuff by Donovan Wilson. Physical, tough, 
puts his nose in there, plays the run almost like a linebacker. And he's not a linebacker, which is crazy to think. But as a strong safety, he does a really, really nice job. And it's part of what makes this guy such a valuable piece to the Dallas Cowboys defense. All right, you guys, so I want to just get into some of Donovan Wilson's pass coverage ability we got a play here this is third and 12 the first drive of the game of the by the tampa bay buccaneers wilson's gonna do a really nice job on the wide receiver who runs a curl at about the first down mark and wilson jumps it and he breaks the pass up it's a really nice job by wilson be able to get in there and you'll see it from the uh, end zone angle here a little bit better once again you're gonna see number 13 to the left of the, the formation here turn back towards the football and you can see brady throws the football and it's wilson that comes up and breaks this pass incomplete. It's a really, really nice job right there. The Buccaneers are gonna run this play action boot to the right of the formation. And the point here is just try to leak this tight end out. Now, if you guys watch Donovan Wilson, he's gonna do a great job reading this play, recognizing it and taking it away. I mean, if Wilson doesn't pick this up with number 84, no one else would have probably been able to get there to make the play. But the fact that Wilson's right there, he's all over it. He's gonna be able to break the pass up. You see the ball ends up getting thrown late. Obviously, Brady thinks twice about it, uh, but this is a nicely designed play, and the Buccaneers were able to hit this for a touchdown here. Uh, obviously, Brady throws it late because of the fact that Wilson ends up kind of taking it away. But again, it's these type of smart football plays that you see Donovan Wilson make over and over and over again on tape. This one's a really nice job right here. To me, this is what I like to see on tape. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Alrighty guys, you got another play here where the defense is going to be in a cover to Tampa, which means the linebacker here is going to drop into the middle. And the quarterback's going to try to hit the tight end on this seam route here. And watch Donovan Wilson do a really nice job, go from outside back to the inside, make up ground and force the incompletion here. Uh, obviously, you get the flag come out on the linebacker who's going to lead with this helmet. But the safety does a pretty nice job, if you ask me, getting in there and breaking the pass up. To me, it's a nice job reacting, being able to kind of get in there, try to jar the football loose. Um, and of course, obviously, the linebacker does a really nice job as well. But to me, the fact that Wilson's right there, gets his left arm in there, and the ball does come out before the linebacker actually hits him. You can see that from the other angle here. Uh, if you watch closely, you can see the tight end does not cleanly catch the football. It is loose before he gets hit. So, again, really nice job right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. All right, you guys, check this play out. The defense is in a cover one robber, which means you're basically man-to-man -man across the board. And it's going to be Donovan Wilson who's going to drop back in a coverage. And you see Brady's going to try to hit this quick slant. And he's not going to see Wilson, who's going to intercept the pass here. To me, it's a really nice job being able to not show that you're not blitzing. Because if you guys look at this play pre-snap, Wilson's lined up in the A-gap. Pre-snap, Brady believes Wilson's going to come, and he doesn't see it because as soon as he takes the football, he looks right away to the right of your screen. Wilson's going to recognize that. Go that same way, and as the quarterback throws it, he throws it right to Donovan Wilson. To me, that's a really, really nice job right there. Not to show what you're planning to do pre-snap. The quarterback doesn't see it coming at all. It's a really nice job right there. Alrighty guys, very similar to that last play, you got a cover one robber across the board once again. It's going to be Donovan Wilson who's going to play that robber role. So he's free to kind of roam up around the line of scrimmage in the box, depending on the situation. This is a third and four, and watch him do a really nice job. Now Tyree Kale wins right away at the line of scrimmage. You can see it, let me just back this up. Right away at the line of scrimmage, Tyree Kale's going to absolutely beat number 30. And he's basically going to win this route. Now, that is until Donovan Wilson recognizes it. Gets in front of Tyree Kale, slows him down enough where he's able to stick with it. And he's able to break the pass up and force an incompletion. Third and four this play was. Donovan Wilson made a fantastic play. Playing within his role, understanding his responsibility. Just a really, really nice job. Of course, Patrick Mahomes wasn't able to complete it. It's a really nice job right there if you ask me. Alright guys, similar to those last plays, and this is a good transition to get us into Donovan Wilson's ability to kind of blitz and get after the quarterback a little bit. Wilson is going to be once again in a cover one robber or cover one rat, which means man-to-man -man defense across the board. You'll see it all around. And one of the reasons why you put Wilson in that situation is because of plays like this. Right? When you have a quarterback who may be willing to run with the football, Wilson's able to come into the box and chase that down and blow that up. 
right? And technically, this play right here counts as a sack because the quarterback was tackled behind the line of scrimmage. But again, this also is why you want Wilson around the line of scrimmage, right? You'll see this next play here against the Tennessee Titans where you're going to get a bootleg to the top of your screen. Wilson's playing strong safety on that side. He's going to take away what the offense is trying to do on this play, and he's going to bring the quarterback down. Again, when you watch it from this side here, you notice how quickly Wilson's able to recognize that this is a bootleg to the left. And not only does he play his zone, but then he re he recognizes super quickly that the quarterback's going to take off with the football, and he brings him down. This was another sack here for Wilson. But what's even more impressive than that, where you put Wilson in the A-gap and he's going to come out on a blitz. And he does a really nice job avoiding being picked up. Right, you can see here on this play, there may have been some miscommunication, but that doesn't slow Wilson down. He doesn't get phased. He doesn't panic when he goes unblocked. He goes and gets the quarterback, and you see it play after play. And I think his ability to get after the quarterback is one of the reasons why Dan Quinn utilizes him off the blitz, puts him in the A-gap, lets him kind of roam freely. And here's a really nice one where the running back is going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Wilson. Uh, the running back could technically pick him up and stop him, and you're going to see he's not going to be able to. Wilson's going to basically dip right past him, uh, almost like a pass rusher would on a tackle. That's a really nice shot. To me, being able to dip past the running back here and get to the quarterback is an absolute beautiful job right there. Alrighty, guys, the final play here, Wilson's going to come off the edge. You know, Dan Quinn really unlocked Donovan Wilson this past season. I mean, Wilson played at an all-pro level. He did so many things that I don't think people recognize, and he got a contract, right? He got paid because of his play this past season, and it's a well-deserved contract. Not every single year do you get a guy that you take in the sixth round, and by the time year five comes around, he's a, a potential all-pro type player, and he's playing at that caliber. To me, I'm very excited to see where Donovan Wilson ends up at the end of this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We do Cowboys content on this channel. Now, I'll see you guys next time with another video.